So in the last video I mentioned that if I didn't have this running and driving by this video, there's gonna be an issue. I probably needed to hurry up a little bit. But good thing is it is running and driving. We took it down the road uh, and around the block a couple times and it, it actually drives half decent. But there is one big issue and we noticed it when I was getting out. Uh, that seat moves a lot, if you can tell. And I thought it was the custom bracketry, but the floor itself is moving a lot more than you can t kind of tell right there. Um, so then I looked up under here and that right there. So before I put this thing on the road and me driving it, there's two things that need to happen. I need to do brakes and me address that. So I got the silver strip out. I had to drill uh, two of these screws because they were just bad. Uh, and you have to take this kick panel off and hopefully it'll just peel back. So got that pulled back. And it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, that you can just get down the bare metal, spray it with some rust converter and then just call it a day basically. <laughs> and I was thinking there was some kind of repair right here because there was a bunch of wood screws sticking down, and that was right. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be interesting to try to get out. But other than that, it don't really seem that bad to fix. It definitely don't need a whole floor pan, that's for sure. So, so I got one of these little goofy-looking patch panels off. Um, I don't know why, because I can really just take a grinder and cut off, or cut off well, and uh, cut along there because that needs to go anyways because it's rusty i'm probably going to cut here and then probably run here and then back and then probably down and then patch all that back in there
So here's the patch panel. I kind of bent into place, I guess. Uh, I'm going to tack it in some places and then just take a hammer and a metal rod and just tap it down to where it's flush a lot of these places. Um, but yeah, and then that's just going to lay down and probably go like that. I don't know. I'm just... So that's the general idea. I'm just gonna go around tack what I can. And uh <coughs> God. And uh keep in mind I don't know how to weld. This is just kind of me winging it. And then like that right there, I'm gonna hit with a hammer, try to get it down, and then weld it. So uh yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm being able to hit it with my three pound and then that metal rod. Pretty good. Um the welds look terrible, but it's it's gonna be fine. Um, but yeah, so far I'm I'm getting there. It's looking half decent. It's not gonna be perfect. I mean, the thing was 400 bucks, so I'm not too worried about it. So, so this part's completely welded then. Um, definitely not the prettiest, but you know it's fine. Um, and I've had to put a little small piece right there to fill in where, you know. And then you gotta do some cuts and stuff to hammer it down to do the shape of the floor stuff. But I am gonna have to do another little piece right here uh, tomorrow. It's probably just like from here to here. Um, found that with my screwdriver just poking around. So I'm gonna eat, leave the bolt hole for the seats and then just try to put like a little rectangle right here. Try to make that not have a hole anymore. But other than that, I'm fixing to finish up with floors i just gotta hit all this with a wire wheel and uh paint it so yeah so i went and got that one welded in it's just a little square um next i'm gonna hit all this with a wire wheel and then spray with some rust converter and then i'll paint over it and then that's basically all i can do so i went and put some caulking on there uh you should probably just go ahead and buy the good stuff like you know seam filler <laughs> But this stuff is about four bucks a tube at Lowe's, so that's what I use, and it seems to work half decent. That should be good. I'm gonna let that dry, and then I might spray some black paint over it. I don't know. I probably won't. So, um, next thing I'm gonna work on is probably the seats. <coughs> um, I hate this seat, but it's proven to be pretty difficult to find another one of those about that shape. So, well, actually, at all, they're all gone. So, I actually got a blanket from like a bargain store. Um, that's got some red striping on it, so probably just going to put a blanket over it, zip tie it on there to where it looks half decent. Um, that's what I did on my, uh, brown C10. I just put a Mexican blanket on it. It looked pretty decent, so. So this is the blanket I'm talking about. Um, paid four bucks for it. It's blue and then black. I don't know how it's going to look, but I'm going to get it to where hopefully this, you know, if this goes down the middle of the seat, I should be happy with that. Um. That's the brand. I don't. I don't know. But I looked on Amazon. It sells for like seventy something dollars for a, for a blanket. It's pretty thick, but still. Uh, I paid four bucks for it, and you know, I like doing stuff cheap, so I'm just gonna cover those seats with it. So I've mentioned that I'm pretty sure that this is stuck in four wheel drive. Um, so I'm gonna. Apparently, if you take this off, uh, it's actually labeled what it's. I don't know. You can change it with like a pair of dikes or something. Not dikes. Um channel locks or whatever so i'm gonna yank this off maybe and then uh see what it is because i have a strong suspicion that it's been in four wheel drive this whole time so 
we're going to see about that. Okay, so what does that mean? Because it's not pointing towards anything. Oh. So to me, this needs, the triangle area needs to be pointing towards here. See, it's kind of like a triangle. To me, it needs to be pointing towards too high. So is it stuck between four high and, because like it, it's kind of like it's roped, I don't know, I'm just. Okay, so I literally just turn it with my fingers in the too high. So, um, let me see if I can do it again. I didn't jack the truck up, so this is kind of a pain. So, there's too high, I think. That hurts. So, yeah, I just turned it, but you know. Um, i got a dent in my finger now. So, in my brain, that means it's in too high. So, I'm going to take this motor off, because it's going to have to get cleaned up or something. So, um, or I'm just going to get a new one, so and we'll see about that. So... The uh, actually, I just ordered a new one of these instead of just trying to rebuild it. So, I think it was like 80 bucks. But, um, so I've got this little sensor right here, and the new um, pigtail that comes with it um, comes with two holes like that that are blank, and then the middle one's blank. I haven't got the middle one out, I think that's just a ground that um, attaches to the transfer case. So, I managed to get these out. Uh, for this little sensor thing. I can't find what this is anywhere. Um, but I know there's a hole in the transfer case for it, so I kind of need it. So, yeah, I just ordered a new one of these, and then probably going to put it in for too long. And then hopefully full drive will work. I don't know. It might. So this thing's finally done. Um, left off a little bit because I really wanted to get it um, done kind of this week, and it happened. First off... But these sick KC fog lights on there, um, got those for Christmas. I had to make these special little mounts because these don't actually adjust back enough. And yeah, um, made those cool little mounts. What else? Oh, I got the seats covered like I left off. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, for a four dollar blanket put a shift knob on here i uh, got a little adapter oh put the stock radio in here and it works where's my keys at okay, that's terrible sound so yeah that's pretty cool Got this cool little light. Yeah, it's, it's kind of useless, but it this little clip right here is broken, so it keeps the trim up more than anything. Uh, here's the lights for the daylighters. Those look pretty snazzy. Uh, I have been daily driving this for about actually a day. Um, it's been doing pretty good. There's my cassettes for my radio put my stickers on there you gotta represent um, this weekend I'm probably gonna try to bead blast or sand blast these wheels get those looking better but I honestly don't even remember where I left off I think it was this I think it was the seats but yeah as far as well it's not done but as far as I'm concerned it's roadworthy Brakes work good, it shifts good at everything. Uh, I'm still figuring out how to drive it, but you know, that's fine. Also, it's windy, so I'm gonna go down here. Um, so, next, I'm probably gonna be working on technically, this is a ladder rack, but it's a roof rack. Uh, it's gonna need some modifications because these are adjustable and they don't squeeze down enough. Um, so it's really too wide for that thing up there, so I'm gonna have to cut them down and then just do something to keep them there. Uh, next video, hopefully the wheels are gonna be sandblasted. Um, again, I haven't been recording a lot of what I've been doing recently because I really just want this thing on the road. And with schoolwork and stuff, I actually don't have time at all to edit videos. Um, so.
I don't know when this will come out. Hopefully pretty soon. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to get started on this roof rack. So stay tuned for that. There's a battery. It's a big battery. I don't know where it goes. But yeah, see ya.